Sometimes we look for a, a church with a pastor that everybody is speaking well of. Don't do that. Don't do that. Because the Bible says if you do that, you're probably following a false prophet. Woe unto you when all men speak well of you. By the way, I don't have this particular problem of all men speaking well of me. Praise God. I remember going to this the clergy meeting. I didn't know they had it, but wound up with a letter inviting me to this clergy meeting. Go to this clergy meeting. There's like 30 pastors in there. And we're talking about this marriage covenant, and I think this is a good thing. And what that was requiring counseling and premarital coaching before they would marry somebody, which I thought we'd always done. And I thought, this is great. Other people are doing so. I went. And, and I was looking at the Winston-Salem Covenant and the Kernersville Covenant. And the Winston-Salem Covenant had the language, you know, one man, one woman for life. That's good, you know. And I'm looking in the Kernersville Covenant, and I don't see it. And I keep looking, and I don't see it. So I raised my hand. I said, excuse me, what? I... The Kernersville Marriage Covenant does not have one man, one woman for life, and, and I'm just wondering why we've excluded that language. And a lady pastor in front of me said, well, because if it was in there, I wouldn't sign it. And I said, well, if it's not in there, I will not violate the clear teaching of Scripture. I'm not going to sign it. And it was on. <laughs> there were 30 pastors in there, and it was somewhere. Yeah, leave that language out. We had to vote three, three times and barely made it to include the language of one man, one woman for life. This is Kernersville. This is not L.A. This is not San Francisco. And they, these are the pastors in the area not wanting to put biblical thought and theology into this covenant. But some of them were like, yeah, you know, I didn't see that. I didn't know it was there. It's a good thing you noticed. But it was a mm, spiritual battle, man. And God sent me there for that. And apparently I was done because I didn't get invited back. But <laughs> that's okay. That's all right. I mean, I, my goal is not to have everybody speak well of me. My goal is to help you understand the Bible and follow Jesus. Jesus. 